Fall Zone. I'm Dale Planica along with my partner Chuck Sapek and Chuck we've got a special guest with us today. We do too Dale. It's the owner operator of three of the local McDonald's in Beaufort County in Hilton Head, Bluffton and Hardyville. It's John Palmesio. John, we were here last year with you John. We're doing the pregame show to the Cross Island Bowl between Hilton Head Prep and also Christian Academy. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, glad to have you back. I know uh, last year we talked a little bit about uh, your interest in high school football, and I think you played some high school football yourself. Is that right? I did, yes, many, many years ago. Yeah, and if not mistaken, you were a six foot, 190 pound outside linebacker tight end for the Seahawks from Frank. Uh, from H. Frank Carey High School in Long Island. That's correct. Right, what, what, d d tell us what your best play in high school. What was it? Oh, a 94-yard interception return. You're kidding, 94 no, yards? Great. Oh, w w wow. I, I needed a break somewhere in the middle of that run. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would have needed one too, that's for sure. Well, John, we want to thank you for being the sponsor of the Friday Night Football Zone all season long here. Uh, this is our 10th game of the year, and this is probably the biggest one of the year. There's been a lot of anticipation and build up to tonight's game, being the Cross Island Bowl, two Cross Island rivals between Prep and the 2010 Friday Night Football Zone is brought to you by McDonald's of Bluffton and Hilton Head and by Time Warner Cable. Welcome back to the Friday Night Football Zone. And tonight we've got a, quite a match up here. We've got uh, Hilton Head Prep is going to entertain Hilton Head Christian Academy. Hilton Head Prep comes into the game with a 7-2 overall record, 3-1 in their, in their uh, region. And Christian Academy is 7-1 and 4-0 in the region. And this is a battle for first place and a battle for bragging rights on the island. It is too, Dale. And Christian Academy is defending Skiza, the 2A champion. And they're coming into this game pretty similar to last year's game. Hilton Head Prep uh, visited Christian Academy. This time, they're reversing it. They're going cross island to play it uh, in Sea Pines Plantation at the, on Hilton Head Prep. But I think that, that there is a couple of factors coming in tonight's game that's gonna, uh, that's gonna affect them. One being is that they're playing uh, in a hotter environment they have. This is an afternoon game that we're showing later tonight on, on air. And I think the heat could be a factor for Christian Academy. They've not played an afternoon game here, here on the island. And as we know, a lot of players pull up with cramps and have a problem with their uh, 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 stamina and in a game. Uh, Christian Academy comes into the game with, uh, uh, as you said, a 7-1 record. Um, prep, this is really a, a story of, of statistics. You look at Prep, they average almost 50 points a game offensively. Right. And But, you know, Christian Academy is not too shabby either. They average 40 points a game. I mean, you look at the quarterbacks, you look at the fantastic matchup between Matt Lehman and Luke Serco. Matt Lehman, 27 touchdowns and only four interceptions. But then you go and you look at Luke Serco, 21 touchdowns and only one interception. I mean, how can you say that these guys aren't, aren't the class acts in, in the area? Well, and it's, it's also telling that I think both coaches, uh, their biggest concern is, is not on the offensive side of the ball, it's on the defensive side of the ball. And in particular, we were at Christian Academy last week, and, uh, and, and what they found was that, you know, what Coach Tommy Lewis found was that uh, up against Thomas Hayward, they had some trouble with the with the passing game in particular, especially in that in that first half of play. And, and of course, they're going against what you know arguably is the best passing team uh, in the conference. Well, let me correct myself real quick. I took two, two touchdowns away from uh, Matt Lehman. It's 29, <laughs> not 27. But uh, what uh, I think uh, we also should mention that Thomas Haywood is sort of like the benchmark because the week before. Prep played him, beat him by 39 points. Christian Academy played him last Friday night, beat him by 20, 27 points. So you, when you look at a common opponent, you would think, geez, you know, 12-point uh, differential goes to Prep. But what, what Christian Academy has, I think, which will affect the game, is that they have a better defense. Uh, and uh, they have a little bit more size. Uh, quarterbacks, uh, you know, is really a toss-up between. They're both excellent quarterbacks. But a little bit more size goes to Christian Academy, a little better defense. In last year's game, as you mentioned, which was won 33-6 by uh, Hilton Head Christian Academy uh, in a home game, uh, we saw uh, three stops inside the red zone in the first half. Just a fantastic defensive effort by uh, the, the Christian Academy Eagles in that first half. I think that's what they're going to need tonight in order to control Matt Lehman and that offense. You know, he also has a wide receiver, uh, Dimitri Lowry, that has over 1,300 yards reception along with 16 touchdowns. So that's quite an offensive threat. Right. Okay, well, we're going to be right back here with the opening kickoff. You're watching the Friday Night Football Zone. On WHHI-TV. The 2010 Friday Night Football Zone is brought to you by McDonald's of Bluffton and Hilton Head and by Time Warner Cable. 